a flawless speed run to show how it's you spare critical hits every hit after 15 seconds of taking no damage. God bless us all in the name of Jesus Christ and protecting God. Let us say amen. Oh, and I'm pretty much just playing. There's not going to be much talking in this video besides for background sounds. I will explain more in another video of what exactly I'm doing. One thing I will say is since Flawless makes a critical hit after 15 seconds of no damage every strike, it is one of like the meat screw more ideal melee weapons for me since my overall goal is to avoid being hit as much as possible and taking damage. So basically, ideally, the longer I take damage, I'm doing a critical strike every hit.
Also, another quick tip. While the electric whip will show you a lot of the hidden niches, small areas where you can get things like food or gems, which give you a bunch of gold. Since I am not using the electric whip in this build to be able to show me those areas, I generally run around something I do similar in Dragon Age Inquisition with a search for item skill. Hitting RB every so often as I run along the ground to find challenge rifts or up against walls to find the niches in the walls. Also keep in mind when you run across um, there's a stamp niche you can find that secret area and all the challenge rifts are going to be a little circle on the ground right below you to figure out how to open them up and RB will open them up. Whereas with the stamp niches, you have to stamp to actually access them. Also, for those interested in role-playing games or just great games overall, the Dragon Age series is great, and Dragon Age Inquisition is a huge jump in the series, kind of like Final Fantasy, what is considered 3 in America compared to Final Fantasy 7 when it came out. It was a huge jump in the game overall. Are you talking about tuberlerca to tuberculosis test in jail? Or in general? Yeah, that's a uh, interesting one if need be. <laughs> They're not trying to listen, but you know what my bad air is, I can pretty much hear every room in the house from the living room without a loud noise to block it out.
not mean to do that. These doors with that stone right there are elite monsters every time guaranteed, so keep that in mind. They usually drop at least an amulet, can possibly drop a legendary weapon, or on the rare occasion, an amulet and a legendary weapon. So they're definitely worth getting. And elite monsters will always teleport to wherever you go. Some monsters usually do that. Elites always do that. This is one of the most ideal amulets I could get for two skills. Get gold as well as cells. So every time blue cells drop, I'm getting gold also. Greatly increasing my amount of gold overall. And that's about my second or third favorite skill. Damage from projectiles. Range weapons reduced by 75% is probably the best skill you can get on an amulet, and they are only on amulets. So I would at least go for that one if you do not have it yet, and then the second skill is a plus. That one is the most useful I've come across so far. I do lose a scroll since my amulet, the one I have, is level 6 and gives me 2 scrolls. Still, the gold with cells and especially the damage reduction from projectiles is worth losing that level in scrolls in this case.
That is the uh, ancient sewers using flawless despair. Also, corruption cloud, light speed as my skills, and as of now, ice shield is the best shield I found with the flawless and shields build I've come across so far. Next is the boss conjunctivitis, which takes place of either the concierge or mother tick. Those are the three possible first bosses you can come across depending on the path you take. Next video will be of my battle against conjunctivitis. Have a great day and God bless and protect us all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.